shows how important this day is that we should never forget uh, what happened, but more importantly, never forget how special the people are who protect us every day. These are the words of our president. On September 11th, 2001, a bright autumn day was darkened by the worst attack on the American people in history. Thousands of innocent men, women, and children perished when mighty towers collapsed in the heart of New York City and wreckage burned in Pennsylvania and at the Pentagon. They were family, friends, service members, and first responders. And the tragedy of their loss left pain that will never fade. And scars our country will never forget. More than a decade later, the world we live in is forever changed. But as we mark the anniversary of September 11, we remember what remains the same, our character as a nation, our faith in one another, and our legacy as a country strengthened by service and selflessness. In the spirit that moved rescue workers and firefighters to charge into darkness and danger that September morning, we see the same sense of moral responsibility that drove countless Americans to give of themselves in the months to follow. We offered our neighbors a hand, lined up to give blood. Many helped our nation rebuild and recover long after the dust had settled. Donating and volunteering and helping survivors who had borne so much. We were united and the outpouring of generosity reminded us that through challenges that have spanned from acts of terrorism and natural disasters, we go forward together as one people. So today, as we remember the victims, their families, and the heroes who stood up during one of our country's darkest moments, I invite all Americans to reclaim that abiding spirit of compassion, of compassion by serving their communities in the days and weeks ahead. From volunteering with a faith-based organization to collecting food and clothing for those in need, to preparing care packages for our men and women in uniform, there are so many ways to bring service into our everyday lives, and each of us can do something. Even the simplest act of kindness can be a way to honor those we have lost and to help build stronger communities and a more resilient nation. By joining together on this solemn anniversary, let us show that America's sense of common purpose need not be a fleeting moment, but a lasting virtue. Not just on one day, but every day. A few years ago, then President George W. Bush said this quote, and this is what I want to end with. It sums up also what we are gathering, why we are gathering here this morning. Our president said, Time is passing, yet for the United States of America, there will be no forgetting September the 11th. We will remember every rescuer who died in honor. We will remember every family that lives in grief. We will remember the fire and the ash, the last phone calls, and the funerals of the children. So hopefully we will never forget. We'll never forget when we're in our classroom students every day that we never take for granted the safety that our special guests in the first two rows give us every single day. So we don't have to worry about the things that millions of children have to worry about every day. And that is, will today be a safe day or will be a, today be a day that we live in terror? That's something in America that is really the only country that we can say that every day, that we are safe and we never want to take for granted is because of the people who are special guests with us this morning. So let's honor them, our special guests this morning.